Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be a tutorial for the look that I was wearing in my top five beauty innovations video using the Melt Cosmetics Love Sick Shadow Stack. I am starting it all off with Smashbox's 24 hour photo finish shadow primer and I'm using my index finger to apply that all over the moving part of my lid up to beneath my eyebrow and my lower lash line. I'm starting off this look with a shadow called Love Sick. It's this beautiful, deep, burgundy red wine, and I'm using the crease brush from Makeup Geek to apply that in my crease. You can see that this applies really strongly at first. All these shadows are very pigmented, so it just takes a lot of blending to get the smooth, even transition that you'll see on the other eye. Then using that same brush, I'm going into the shade Blur, which is another shadow from a different stack. This is the Dark Matter stack, and I'm using that to blend that transition out to up beneath my brow. Moving on to the lid shade, this is called Amelie, and it's a beautiful peachy gold duochrome, and I'm using a flat shader brush to apply that, like I said, all over the lid, right up until it meets that shade in the crease. Next, it's time to add some depth to the outer corner, and to do that, I'm using the shade Fixated. It is this beautiful mid-tone matte blue-gray, and I'm using a flat shader brush to begin applying that to my outer corner and then start blending it towards the center of my eyelid using a blending brush. Onto the lower lash line, I'm using the shade Promiscuous and a smaller flat shader to smudge that beneath my lower lashes. Moving on to a product that was actually in that top five beauty innovations video, it is a mascara and liner in one from the brand My Cosmetics. This is their Total Me liner and mascara. So you can see I just extended the liner tip from the wand and applied that to my upper lash line to create a nice, relatively thick, dramatic wean. Then I'm going in with yet another product I featured in that same video. This is the Tyra Banks Oops liner and corrector. I'm using the corrector side to really clean that line up. I am great, well, relatively relatively good when it comes to my right wings, but find that the corrector tool is an awesome one to have on hand for my left eye. Then I'm just going in here and applying the mascara to finish off the eye look. And for some extra glamour on the lashes, I am using the Glamorous False Lashes from Socialize. And the foundation in this look is one that if you watch my videos, you will definitely recognize it appeared in my recent favorites video because I've been loving it so much. It's the Physicians Formula Nude Wear Touch of Glow Foundation. I'm applying that using the Becca The One Perfecting Brush, which I think just applies it flawlessly and so quickly. This is yet another recent favorite. It is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealing Cream. Mine is in the shade Praline. And this is the technique that I mentioned in my favorites video when I talked about this product. I pat, it's a really tacky formula, so to keep from dragging it across your under eye area, I find it's best to pat with my ring or middle finger. And I find that it's just the perfect technique to get the complete full coverage look without piling it on too much. To set all of that foundation and concealer, I'm going in with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. And I first used Dim Light to set my concealer using the narrow end of that Becca brush. And now this is where I'm using Radiant Light to go in and bronze. Moving on to the cheeks. Here I'm going into the Stila Field of Florals Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Palette, and I'm blending the shades Peach Blossom and Gladiola to create the perfect peachy pink hybrid. And I'm dabbing that first on the apples of my cheeks, then taking clean fingers, I'm using that to blend it out. And last, as usual, I am finishing off with the lips. I am only using one product today. This is Rimmel Show Off Lip Velvet in the shade Atomic Rose. I'm just applying that all over. That is everything you need to create this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to check out links to the reviews of the Melt Cosmetic shadows that I use throughout this tutorial. They'll be in the info bar below. Beyond that, thank you again so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.